Hey guys, welcome back to um, Ancient Grail, Fall of Babylon. Um, not going to be any new music because it's all copyrighted. So, it's fun. Um, we're going to go let's see if we can sell some stuff. There was a trader out here. Who are you? Orla. All mother's tits. I've just about had it with this bunch of repressed virgins. Nice. And who might you be? You don't look like one of them. Oh, do I now? You would be too if you had to deal with those sniveling morons when they're up to something. Don't look at me like that. You don't get as far in life as I have if you can't smell bullshit from a mile away. There's something fishy going on here. But I'll get to the bottom of it. And here's a brilliant idea. You're going to help me. Excellent. I might, but not for free. Straight to the point, huh? Don't worry, I'll pay you. And who knows, you might even get a discount on my wares. I just need you to go to Brandon and find out why that slime ball is pretending not to know I'm here. Tell him I'm waiting with his delivery. Although, I'm pretty sure he knows this already. Afraid I don't have access to the captain. Right. What was I thinking? You wouldn't. You're new here, right? Oh, shit. There's something going on, you know? They don't want anybody to know, but I can feel it. I've been doing business with the captain for years now. Then, suddenly, I find myself stuck here. They won't let me further in, not even to set up camp in the village. But they won't let me out, either. Hmm. Anyway, good luck to you. <laughs> Come and visit if you need anything. Spinebreaker. Ignores enemy blocks. Oh, here we go. Oh, and a better shield. Yes. Oh, that's 38 apiece. Okay, well, we'll take the iron arrows. I guess I bought the wooden arrows. Wait, what? It bought, it bought, the, it bought the fire arrows as well. Did I, did I click yes on them? I think I clicked yes on them. Oh, well. You live and you learn. Now they're worth six a piece. Um, I sell the ring. Put the red cap daggers. Red. Cap. We can consume the red cap. Oh, fresh tears. <laughs> We've collected them for years. And right. Get rid of that, the broken claymore. Not bad. I'll keep the mace for now. The short sword. Summon the wolves to fight on your side. Ooh. That could be useful. I don't think any of this is going to be better. Here, the same, which is fine. Get rid of that. Soul stone. There's soul stone with each kill when fully charged. Soul stone is trying fully heals the player's health and mana. Ah, oh, cool. That is cool. Get rid of them. Get 
for the saw. I think we keep everything else then. Okie dokie. What are we at? <clears throat> Horns of the South and Excalibur is there. The Bruin Market Square is there. Shadow of the Horns mission and then the recurring payments is up there, but I want to check out this. Alchemy table. Am I going? Oh, you can't scare him? Don't see anything interesting in there. Oh. Uh oh. Right, let's continue along the coast, I guess. as we can. Turn around immediately or you'll get shot. You were warned. Archers, take aim. <clears throat> Fire. We can't go there. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, we've already spoken to you. Maybe there's something else I can help you with? You do realize you won't score any points with the Keepers by helping me, right? I don't care. Those holier-than-thou soldier boys have no idea what it takes to be a merchant in this sorry world. The things we have to do sometimes aren't exactly done according to the rule book. Don't care as long as I'm getting paid. All right. A woman named Ness has my cargo and I need it back. I have no idea where she is, but she must have been somewhere near Smuggler's Bay at some point. That's a good place to start looking for her. And yes, you'll get paid. Just bring me the wares. Cool. Alright, so Silk Road over there. Let's 
head for here. Dude is fast asleep at the gate. Right, um, iron arrows. Oh, he's going ham. Good luck. Oh, strange toe. Broken arrows and that. Their hammer. Totally missed that first shot, though. Wait, is that a traitor? There's three enemies. Your gold belongs to us. This is how it's done. down bigger foes I've taken down bigger foes his reach is crazy take that fool I'll make you pay for that I've taken down bigger foes Jesus. Okay. Put some food into us. Take all of your stuff. Everything. Grab all the food. Devil's snare. <clears throat> then we kind of cleared up here. Double check it though. Wolf down there.
<coughs> Things wrote. Sweet. Bunch of bandits. Wanted. arrows. You're in for a world of hurt! Alrighty. Strange to actually hear the um, decent looking gear compared to what we have. Three hits and set him on fire. You could see it building up underneath this health bar. There's a few of them. They're all leashed. I'll make you pay for that. Okay, if they get close enough, they'll follow. Okay. Is that supposed to work? Making me angrier. Then let's have a look. <clears throat> that is heavy armor, but we're only like quick for medium armor, though, right? Did we get like a debuff for that? Let's 
Oh, heavy armor. We're now heavy. So what, we're going to be slower? Where's the Argyle? Bunch of them. They're archers, though. I don't want to mess with the archers right now. Back to medium armor. Take the stuff, but we'll go back to medium armor. See it clinking off his armor. Oh, way too low. There's one down. Oh, I got smacked. Wait, can I pick up their broken arrows? That's coming. Nice, okay. No, oh, he's a diver, man. You're in for a world of hurt. everything. Okay, time to fast travel back. Can I fast travel while encumbered? That would make sense. Um, what do we want to drop? Hmm. 
need five weight. There we go. And then we travel back here. all this new gear to her and she's not there because it's nighttime I guess so grindstone so we can craft armor okay Won't do that. His little wood saw baskets, tongs, and all that. I thought we'd be able to do stuff here. Also, it's not stealing anymore. Canine meat, really. Where's a wood cutting axe? Could have just gone out that way. Keeper Sigwald. Good to see you again. The pledge today was very interesting, wasn't it? The certainty in Quartermaster Amos' voice. Beautiful. Makes one eager to start work. I don't think we've met. So, what do you need this time? The pass again? Hmm. Are we planning a trip to the stale lamb? Hey, not this time, my friend. I've run out of ink. I'm waiting for a delivery. Steward Orla will let me know when more arrives. In the meantime, I need to ask you for a favor. <coughs> so, you in? For the sake of our long friendship? Uh, what do you need, pal? Steward Orla, I'm pretty sure she doesn't hold that position here. Orla? Hmm. I'm sure I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Anyway, about that favor I ask of you. The stale lamb, what are you talking about? I guess you still haven't sobered up, huh? The stale lamb. You know, the tavern in the village below the keep. It's run by Ron. Truly a great place. I hope they're not planning to close it down. Oh, they wouldn't do that, right? Hmm. You do know it needs to stay between us. Do you understand? Say you understand. Fantastic. So, here's the thing. On a recent night out of wrongs, it seems I may have left some sensitive documents at the bar. Documents, uh, with Captain Fergus' seal. But not necessarily sealed by him. Ah, uh, you know what I mean. I can't really go there right now. Could you get them back for me? Uh, I'm sure it won't be too much of a problem. Sure, I'll do it. Splendid. When you have the documents, meet me at the third crowing of the rooster. Or just find me. I'll be around. <laughs> oh, that's the village. Oh. Yeah, that's the village that uh, we got shot at. Get to the 
merchant or campfire or whatever that is. This guy first. How far overweight are we? Seven. Ah. Let's store some stuff in the stash. Put the armor in there, and then we're good. Uh, symmetry, I haven't done that yet. Okay. Cool. None of this is stealing now. Awesome. So I'll just take it all then. Um, all the bottles. Cool. <clears throat> Make up some food to have in reserve. Requires Jan Aber's key. Brother Regan's key. What is in here? Frederick. Welcome to the Museum <laughs> of the Horns of the South. The southernmost keep under Camelot's jurisdiction. My name is Riderick, and I will be happy to introduce you to the rich history of this fascinating place. A <clears throat> history that began 623 <sighs> years ago with the first keeper, Sewell first foot. I'd also like to bring your attention to our numerous exhibits that are, as I like to say, inanimate witnesses of the history of the Horns of the South. I think you like to say a lot of things. I'd imagine there's a lot of dialogue that goes along with that. Right now. Requires the guard's key. <clears throat> Whoops. Okay, so a little store down here. That's about it. Cool. Let's see about getting to that village.
Uh, but let's go up here first. Hey, hey. Hello. Are you also wondering why the heck we need them? Don't know what you're talking about. Lighthouses. Why the hell are Dara and his workers pushing so hard to build the second one? Is one not enough? Is it because one is less than two and less is worse? I mean, two lighthouses next to each other are almost the same as one. And ships don't even sail this way anymore. Oh, two lighthouses, then what? Two taverns, of course. One to drink in, and the second for when you're already drunk. Ha! <laughs> Oh. oh, we need to go up and across. Fair enough. All right, let's do the village. <laughs> and add no music because of copyright. Arrow's key, okay. I got medicine for my father. Let me through. Sure. Go with the pass and you can go. Damn it, Tiernan. I don't have time for this. I understand, but I can't let you through without a pass. Ask the captain to give you one. Bloody hell, Tiernan. The captain's busy, and this is a matter of life and death. Come on, be a human here. Not without a pass. I've got my orders. What a nonce! Screw you, Tiernan! Who's there? Oh, you're my new worker. You don't look like one. And with arms like these, you couldn't even lift the tiniest of rocks. Pegasus set you up for this. He did, didn't he? What a prick! I didn't turn and let you in. When that Egypt gets an order, He's like a priest who stumbled upon an orgy. He's got a stick up his ass. Nothing gets through to him. <laughs> Rather live in the village? Yeah, he used to serve, too. He was the builder before me. Now he's just an old fart angry at the world. But a father is a father, right? We may hate each other, but as long as I can help him, I will. Hence, the medicine. Looks like it. Not that he'll ever admit it. Stubborn bastard. Our healer doesn't know what to do with him. Hey, you're heading to the village, right? Tiernan should let you in. Take this medicine to my father, will you? Goban is a loud man. You shouldn't have trouble finding him. What's it for me? Oh, for... Seriously? You'll have my eternal gratitude, but nothing more for now. Come on, take it. Come to me afterwards. And you, Tiernan, can eat a dick. <laughs> if you want to enter the village, I need to see your pass. I was told this pin serves as a pass. Mm. Oh. Like that. Thank you. You can go. Did the quartermaster never explain anything about those pins? I only know I'm to let through anyone who shows me one of those, so I'm guessing it's a serious piece of metal. The quartermaster didn't look like he was in the mood to explain any details, as usual. So what's happening here? <laughs> what isn't happening? The 
captain made us take in northern refugees. That soured everyone's mood. People are anxious now and constantly at each other's throats for no reason. A while ago, old Tagden picked a fight with one of the new guys. The guards had to split them up before they killed each other. But it's not like we only get the ragged and the desperate. We also have some highborn visitors. The old lady Elaine and young Elisa with her husband. What else? Oh, old Gaban's health took a turn for the worst. So his son's worried. They've been at each other's throats for years, but now that the father's sick, the son's grown a conscience. Well, that's pretty much how it goes around here. I will come back to you. Alright, well at least now we can enter without getting shot. Acton Ron Hey Alyssa, drinking here alone without your husband? Beer from Kunacht, wine from Farshire, moonshine, only local, the best there is, and fish. Lots and lots of fish. What's your poison? Uh, oh, right, yeah. Some time ago, one of the keeper left some important documents here. No, I don't recall anything like that. He said he left them after the last drinking bout. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on. But I doubt the keepers had anything important on them. <laughs> Half of them couldn't tell the quartermaster's seal from a pile of horse dung someone stepped on. But they should still be at the Stale Lamb Tavern. But that means... No. Impossible. What if... Holy moonshine. I remember. Sigibald. It was Sigibald who left those documents behind. I've no idea how you found out about it. Siji, he's dead. Taken by a fever. I met him, he asked me to get these, his documents back. Aye, hmm. of course I have. I didn't just throw them in some cabinet. I was afraid they'd fall into the wrong hands. He was a good man. I want to get rid of my only memento of him. Here, after what you said, I assume you'll make good use of them, even though I'm still not sure what to think about it. Things are getting weirder and weirder in our beloved Avalon. Tell me more about Sigibald. Well, he died like he lived, with a tankard in his hand. The boys always said Siji was a friend worth five others. Hey, and he was. He was a prankster like no other. Once, he slipped a rotten egg into the quartermaster's dinner. <laughs> Never a dull moment with him around, that's for sure. No problem. Listen, if by some miracle you really talked with Sigibald, please, give him my warm regards. Eh, I don't understand anything anymore. Do, 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 what have we got? We've got 685. I, I need the health. <laughs> I really need the health. Um... Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. Throwing knives I'm going to keep. 
Uh, actually, I want to check that now. Let's equip them. No, but I can equip a uh, fishing rod. And I think we're all good. Right then, we're going. Bring him all tags. Bring bounties for slain bandits. Medicine to his father. Oh, he's literally right there. Ha. Huh. Bloody hell. Look at this. The old place is in a shambles. Bunch of decrepit old coots. They do nothing but shuffle around, stare at walls, and sleep under leaking roofs. Can't even hammer a nail properly. I'm telling you, if I was still working here, this place wouldn't be falling apart. But I'm not. Ah, oh, shite. I can't even stand to look at it, let alone live here. And who are you? What you want? You another one of Dura's freeloaders? Ross? What do you take me for? A senile old idiot? I know that my boy keeps sending all of you little piss ants to snoop around his old man. Oh, how worried he must be. Boo hoo! How did you all get it into your stupid heads that I am ill, huh? That's bullshit. Everyone's going on about how old Gabon's gonna keel over any time soon. And me? Still here, ain't I? <laughs> ah, souls. I'm old enough to know what I'm talking about. I've served my time, I've lived my life, and now you can all kiss my ass. So there. You're ill? I swear, each one's dumber than the last. Listen, they wanted Heber, that healer from the keep, to come here. He did. They wanted him to look me over. He did. Then he just threw up his hands, mumbled something to himself, and... And that was it. Hell, I should have been an healer. Wouldn't mind going around being a pain in everyone's arse for a living. These herbs. No idea what they're for. Heber said he doesn't know what's wrong with me. So there's no illness. I'm fit as a fiddle. Good thing that at least the one guy who hangs around, uh, Finley's the name, doesn't nag all the time. I want him to see you, but he didn't have a pass. I think he hears. Yeah, right. <laughs> he better focus on his job. Okay. Finley is your caregiver? Hold on, hold on. Finley is not my caregiver. He's my helper at most. First of all, I'm not a cripple. I don't need a decrepit dimwit running around after me. Secondly, do you know the problem with having a helper who's mute? He doesn't bloody talk. I mean, uh, it's not all bad. At least I don't have to listen to even more bullshit. He puffs up like a puffball every time he tries to say something, but oh, I don't understand shit. Fair. Silk. Okay. Not stealing. Which means we're taking everything.
Buy something or bugger off. Unless you've already bought for more lay. Then just bugger off. They're selling fish. Gotcha. I'll buy them. <clears throat> Right, what have we got next? World win. Oh, yeah, that one. Steel Excalibur. Yeah, if you touch Excalibur, you get hurt. I'm supposed to investigate what's happening at the local cemetery. That's right. Catherine died in childbirth in one of the cells on. Oh, yeah. What was her husband's name? Heresies happening on the on the island. Asylum. The fire would be interested. Kill that guy. Find out the smuggler. And then Ron's convinced. Sigal Brothers has been dead for a long time, but I got his documents. Uh, let's go for this. Oh, okay, that's way up there. Well, then we're going to use the fast travel. But we'll talk to Sigibald first. You're back. Hi. I got the documents. You were right there. No problems. I told you, Ron is a good guy. And here's a little something for you. You know I pay well. To be honest, Ron was a bit confused. Yes? What's the matter, my friend? Well, you're dead. <laughs> you're really good at this today. Wait. Oh. Oh, you're serious. I understand. For so many years, I've been afraid to open this letter. But it looks like I needed to read it. Well, it is what it is, right? <laughs> and I've been wondering why no one wants to talk to me. I thought to myself, are they mad at me or what? But why are you talking to me? How can you see me? Good question. Mm -hmm. Anyway, may the All Mother bless your path. See you next time. Wait, permanently increase our armor? <laughs> oh, wait, we have Goban's medicine. Can we, like, examine it now? Wondering, is it poison? Spiked mace does a lot more damage. Okay. Put five magic armor permanently. Okay. I mark all this red anyway. And equipment. I guess we can use the spiked mace. Which does more damage. Same weight, so it shouldn't affect us that way. And we sold all our stuff. And then here is Wolf's Call. And we leveled. And I will do Dex up to level 8. Your bow is 25% faster, hitting enemy weak sprout with an arrow generates 5 HP. Fully drawn arrow has a 10% chance to stagger an enemy for 2 seconds. Every hit has a 5% chance of being a critical. Just 
get some crit chance. Can I just lock pick this? Yep. Mandrake root, parsley, and a pig's heart? How is this supposed to make any sense? How can it even work? Oh, sorry. Do I know you? I'm terrible with faces. Either way, glad to make your acquaintance. I'm Jean Heber, a physician raised in Camelot and trained in the Royal Academy. That recipe you were just whispering to yourself. Is some local witchcraft I've been trying to make sense of. I guess I'll find out when I try it. Try it on yourself? Our experience is the best teacher. Don't worry, I'm not testing anything on the others. Gran the Mad, a great Camelotian physician, used to say that a real doctor would never give his patient something he hadn't tried on himself first. A wise approach, which I follow myself. Graham the Mad, don't you see the irony? What irony? Isn't that dangerous? The pursuit of knowledge is always dangerous. That's why it's reserved for only the bravest of the brave. It takes true guts to face the unknown, to realize just how little you know and how insignificant you are to the world. Fair. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 has ruined me for saying, yeah, try it on me. Um, I suppose the old builder me told me you were unable to cure him. I can't, but that doesn't really concern you, does it? Maybe I could help? No, not really. Please, I really don't feel like talking about about my failures. Oh, a perception check. You just need a fresh perspective. Tell me about it. Trust me, you don't have to remind me about my failures. Listen, before you go, if you're really interested, I've read that the druids had some luck in curing this disease. There won't be any druids left here in the south, but who knows? Maybe you'll have some luck. And, and if you do, please... Tell me all about it. Okay. All right, I think we go to the cemetery. Uh, well, actually, no, let's go here. And not go fight those guys. Yeah, let's go to that instead. That's not smart. I think these are the guys we need to kill, though. Or maybe not. Who are you? And what do you want? Yeah, simple, I'm here to kill you. Yes, and I'm terrified because you're really scary and so on, etc. But before you inevitably do kill me dead, may I ask why? Free people from their death. Oh, fascinating. Do you even know why they're in debt? Yeah, they told me their stories. And undoubtedly, considering you're here, they were very sad stories. Unfortunately, they were also likely to be entirely fabricated. 
You see, your new best friend, Bergen, he had a family, a devoted wife and a son. However, he was also seeing a girl on the side. She was engaged to a young soldier. When he returned from one of Camelot's wars, he discovered he had a child. But there was no way it could be his. The timeline just didn't add up, you know. And what about Thorsten? His father was a mean drunk, but he was also a rich drunk. A master goldsmith. Earned good coin back in the day. Too bad his foolish son gambled away all of his father's money. And then some more besides. But when the armed men came and said it was time to repay his debts, he ran back to his father for help. His father was furious. Who wouldn't be? And it seems like he finally realized that his son is an idiot. So he decided not to help him. Not anymore. Those are your friends. Never said they were my friends. Too wrong to keep him as slaves. Can I discontinue? Well then. Ooh, you had a bit of reach on that. Oh, we can actually take the horse? Nice. We will be doing that. Oh, we can't draw our weapon on horseback? How'd it go? B. You didn't tell me the truth. Oh, we certainly did. Our truth. Not good, huh? Why did you have to stick your nose into our business? Uh, you're gonna fight. Now we really can't let you live, good. can we? Kind of what I wanted. Thank you. All of the experience. Um, we got leather gloves that are better. Sure. Oops. And that's not going to be better that's fine they're the same and they're all the same 
Some of them is red, and we've gained another level. I'll get more endurance. can jump. Good to know. skill in the bow you know it's, we're supposed to be a ranged unit sunken village you must be lost back in the day you just needed to look at the stars and you'd know where you were going now even they are misplaced hmm who are you mm -hmm. i guess i'm just an old man listening to the sound of the sea and looking into the ashes it's all the same it's important, at least for me. Long ago, I decided to wait for something to happen. So, I'm waiting. You're waiting for what? For what's ahead of me. But I can feel that it's closer than ever. Everything that's around us. It's not yet the end. And that thought really bothers me. I have everything I need. The entire world in one place. There is something you could help me with. A small favor. I have a friend who made a home for himself in a pretty nice place. Quite a spacious cave underneath the keep. Beautiful view. Peaceful and quiet. Every now and then, I brought dressed some fish so the poor guy wouldn't starve to death. If you would be so kind as to do it for me this time, I haven't been able to visit him for a while now. Yeah, sure. Tell him I said hello. We, uh, we found him while exploring earlier. That, though. Oops. That is something we're going to be using later, I guess. There's an actual letter there, too. Oh, spell. Cool. Mm, go 
this way. Flame Gobbler. Oh good, he did explode. I don't know what I was hoping for. Missed the last one. <clears throat> Lovely hot goo too. Excellent. Another one. Don't have enough mana. Excuse me. <laughs> I'd like food that restores uh, mana as well, don't we? Maybe we did. I got rid of it. Oh, there it is. Heals five mana for ten seconds. Craft all of them. Sure. Okay, so different variations. Gotcha. I'll do. Okay, cool. Interesting that he just exploded.
God damn it. Hey Flackwall, how you doing? Um, it is an open world RPG set in the universe of Painted Grail, which kind of uses um, the uh, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table and all that as a, a basis for its lore. But King Arthur is like an evil king as far as I'm aware. And uh, Excuse me, uh, it kind of um, has a similar start to the likes of Oblivion, you know, you start in uh, prison, you get rescued, and uh, we're just dropped in this land, so like we've started in this area here after doing a prologue. And uh, we're carrying around a fragment of an ethereal being who doesn't exactly know who he is either. Which is this thing called the Weird W Y R D that uh, has been a kind of a plague on the land for years? Um, after that, I don't know too much, to be honest. But yeah, the melee combat is uh, it's fun so far. Like I said it's kind of giving me Oblivion vibes. But it's not all about like really quick actions and stuff. It's more about timing. Damn, bench is in the way. I don't know Dark Messiah, so I'll agree with you. I've heard of Dark Messiah, I've never, I've never played it or... That guy looks bigger than the rest. Oh, he still got us, okay. I think it's more that classic fighting where you have to... I suppose kind of like Dark Souls. You have to manage your stamina. It's more about timing and parrying and stuff like that. You don't want to get into a fight with multiple enemies hitting you. Okay, I gotcha. Crypt of Sul's first foot. There is some really good music, but uh, it's copyrighted, so... <laughs> it does set the tone as well. A couple of undead here. Another one up in the tower. So yeah, as you can see, even the undead there, he hit me pretty damn good.
Looked like he had no reach. Of course, the enemies are leashed. So they'll chase you for a bit, but they'll usually just go back. I think there's no benefit to me putting on that, though, is there? Oh, what's one of you? Great, okay. close and then move oh yeah <clears throat> he's also digging give me more of that hot goo like this is completely kind of random i don't i don't need to be here i don't have any reason to be here i just kind of walk down this way I do want to be collecting the bottles. Kind of worried that there's going to be a really strong enemy at the top of this tower. Although I can't get up there, so that's fine. Dude's like just standing over there. And you don't get his way. Sony games do pretty stinky worlds. Like, why aren't we playing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's easier. There is an enemy over there somewhere. And then where does this go? Ah, oh, there's an undead in here. Let's clear this out. I say, why are you already hurt? Seven overweight, okay. Um So don't don't pick up the torn keepers stuff anyway.
forcing that one really. Carpeting stone, does that do what we see it normally doing? No. Crafting. Okay. Just crafting. So that's the cemetery up there. Go back around to that and that's where I was actually going to. Um yeah. We'll go back up there. Oh, sorry, stretching. Dark loves loot. How are you doing, dude? Thank you for the raid and the follow. Hope you're doing well. Oh, you were playing Tainted Grill. How did it go for you? You got it today? Oh yeah, I, I did a bit yesterday and um, doing a little bit again today before work. I might be going back onto Baldur's Gate 3 in a little bit or just something completely random. Very tired today. Uh, how are you enjoying it? I've been really liking it. I just need more arrows. Um, let's fight these two. Combat's pretty chunky. Yeah, I, I like that that it's more timing based than you know spamming. You know, go oh, away. I can do that too. Looking forward to the final release. Yeah, um, should be good. See what they do with it. Uh, put endurance up to eight. Using a shield and weapon reduces stamina cost by 15%, which is not bad. Carrying capacity increased, we're below 20% only. Consume all stamina, but makes 50% stronger. Successful parry with a shield boosts your next attack. We'll do that. And then we're going to go back into Dex. Bow damage is increased by 100%, but it's 50% slower to that. I kind of like that. And then attack speed as well. I kind of like that. Um, go here. Drop them. Right. Um, sidetracked. Did I walk right past you? Oh, a new face. I haven't seen you before. You're married? Uh, okay. It depends on who's asking and why. I can't remember. Well, this pin says who I am, and every keeper who sees it is supposed to offer me help. Yes, it's pretty. I know what it means, as I'm pretty sure I know where it came from. You more know than I do. That's for sure. All you need to do is take a walk around this place instead of sitting on your ass inside the horns like the other keepers. You say I'm supposed to offer you help? Well then, do you have questions? You can see I have plenty of time. It would be nice to talk to someone who's not a keeper. I don't meet many outsiders these days. So, hello. I'm Marg, a hunter in the service of the Horns of the South. Doing a great job there.
Okay. <laughs> uh, so you're hunter, like you teach me. The game that you should always sneak from upwind, that's about it. But I never feel those who want to learn. Oh yeah, also JBT, welcome in. And uh, Noel, how's it going? Following the raid. Um, anything I can do for you? Okay, cool. I suppose you could help. Um, here's some of the things I found during my hunts. Should work. There we go. Thunder arrows. Buy the regular arrows first. Frost, poison, sharpened, mute, stun, confusion. Weaken, burning, of course, corruption. By the cheap ones. Interesting that they are all different prices. I mean, that's fine. Oh, and I need 450 for that. Well, Oh, he doesn't buy them for much at all. Okay. I need one pickaxe, one wood cutting axe. Get rid of all that. There we go. I'll do. <clears throat> okay, and we're going this way. Right. Yeah. Gillingtons. Missed that one. I do wish it would um, auto equip. I'm gonna have to start using my good arrows. The delay always gets me. I presume that little uh, yellow glow that we got there was a crit by the looks of it. Excuse me. Um, hi, Whipend, how's it going? Hi, Whipend, is all of the music copyright in the game, by the way?
that that would be a thing. Uh, yeah, I know you were saying about crafting arrows. Um, I just, I went into the <laughs> the keep at night, so the blacksmith wasn't there. Um, I used the chopping block already. Cool, yeah, rest there. Cool. Can you kick people off ledges? Um, you can push. So, like, there's a push. I've knocked people off ledges while killing them, but not actively yet. Well then, let's um, go back here. Yeah, I, I got three claims on the on the first hour long video. I'm in the process of muting all of that now. Um, so yeah, there's the blacksmith. Q and E. Rest a bit. Boy, friend, a question. Do you know why people always stop and watch a blacksmith at work? Because he's riveting. <laughs> oh. uh, it's good to see a new face in this sad hole. Oh, of course, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Osbricht, the local master of hammers and anvils. Uh, do you need your blades sharpened? Um, oh, you can dismantle stuff. Oh, that's interesting. Do you have any work? Ha, friend, I wish. But the only task I could use help with might be a bit too delicate for you to handle. But unless you're a master goldsmith, then feel free to prove it. And I'll have work for you immediately. One day, Flack, one day. For them to go around. And now that we're on lockdown, there's not much demand for my services either. Ever since we lost our great mine, I've been working with scraps sent over here from Camelot. That's why with X4 I use the um, Spotify playlist. So that I can use the X4 music and mods and stuff. Like uh, the Star Wars mod. Uh, which may be streaming tomorrow. I don't know if I'll stream it. But I'll be recording stuff for that tomorrow. To prepare for something very soon. Uh, there must be something I can help you out with. Now that I think of it. I might have a task for you. You seem like the kind of person who could wander around this damned island. With no fear of getting stabbed by some bandit. Right? Well, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm so bored here. So bored. It would be nice to work on something other than Keeper's Blades again. What do you need? If you happen to wander near the Forgotten Cemetery, keep your eyes open for any old relics. Bring them back, and I might be able to come up with something special for your weapons. Magical, I mean. Yo, why do you whisper? It's one of those things that everybody knows about, but nobody talks about openly, you see. Cool. Cool. I learned how to infuse weapons and armor with certain powers. It's a family secret passed down from my grandfather, but it's based on ancient druidic magic. It's not something you'd want to advertise here. Not with all those Camelot banners hanging around. Well, let's tear them down, then. Well, if you're not up for hunting for magical artifacts, you could always bring me some upgrade materials. They can work wonders on your weapons. We're gonna find them. Basically everywhere. But if you need them, like right now, I'd start in the sunken village. They had a decent workshop there. 
And I'm sure the bandits didn't loot at all. Not with all those monsters creeping around. Cool. I have been there. Oh, right then. Yes. I, I'll hold off on that. And then, yeah, it's past the wood, but we have wood. Um, that's fine. I'm just going to equip that and we'll sell the sword. Uh, we should probably sell a few of these. Lock stamina at 100% for 15 seconds is not bad. Grants haste, of course. Uh, I can sell all the rage potions for now. Berserk, rage. And rage. That's fine. Keep all of that stuff, keeping all of that stuff for the moment, but probably shouldn't. And that's fine. There we go. Oh, so this is where we can use the broken arrows? Oh, because it crafts 10 at a time. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Absolutely do that. Craft another 10. Sweet. So now... 103 arrows. Excellent. Actually, found the gear through. It's pretty good. I think I really like more cap ships and action close shots. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Um, I'm planning to do another VRO run. Uh, soonish. So I did a vote between VRO and Interworlds, and Interworlds won. Uh, right, what are we doing next? Oh, I need to go back to the graveyard. Never mind. I didn't actually do that quest. Um, go here. But I do like that out of combat you don't have a stamina bar depleting when you're sprinting. Okay. What is it we were actually doing here? Okay, what's happening here? <laughs> the toggle? Yeah. You're, uh, not dead yet. I'm just looking at that and thinking that's a trap. Smack. Oh, are you dead? Who goes there? Are you the one responsible for all that racket? People here are trying to rest in peace, damn it. Well, they attack me first. 
You'll have to forgive them. They're a little disoriented. Waking up like this is like coming out of a thick fog you've been wandering through for days on end. Dulls your senses, clouds your mind. Terrible for coordination. They were pretty coordinated. I need to... Who are you? My name's <laughs> Wardok, and I'm the keeper of this place. I look after the dead. Or at least, try to. It used to be much easier where they stayed in one place. Now I need to keep making sure they don't stray too far from the cemetery. But I'm not complaining. A little exercise is good for the body. Yeah, you look like you're in great health. But you're not dead, are you? Dead, alive, what's the difference? I am here. I always have been. And I always will be. Until the day I'm released from my service. How long have you lived here? Not doing a good job. <laughs> to be fair, he's inside, so he only heard the noise. Truth be told, I'm not quite sure. Has it been a long time since the wave came and swallowed the village? That was when people stopped coming here. It's like the sea washed away the memory of this place as well. I... I don't remember much of what happened afterwards. I must have fallen asleep for a while. Okay. Sorry, I'm stretching here. Um... You know anything about what's happening here? I know everything that happens here. If you're looking for some juicy gossip, Becca from the third row south still has no idea where her husband is. They were supposed to be buried together, you see, but he never showed up. The scoundrel. Everyone here thinks he got remarried and chose to rest with his second wife. Not me. I think he probably got eaten. I meant the undead, there's been quite a lot of them. Oh, that would be Master. He's been at his experiments again, I'm afraid. Getting the folks around here all agitated. Putting them back to sleep again is going to be such a chore. I can help you with that. Who's your Master? <sighs> master is Master. He commands the dead. I don't know much else. I'm here to serve, not to ask questions. Is your master name Slaughtery? It might be. Huh. Do you think it's odd that I don't seem to know that? Maybe I forgot. My memory is not what it used to be. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just have to look up uh, Slough or Slaw. And then Darig is red, so the red host. Okay. Where's your master? You want me to betray his trust that easily? We barely know each other. I wouldn't tell you even if I could. Is it written in that book? What kind of experiments? Don't know. Usual. Glowing chalk candles and dead bodies i even saw some new faces recently but they didn't stay long he promised to bring back my family truth be told it's been so long that i'm not sure it's even possible anymore but i'm happy where i am the dead need company too you know the folks here were forsaken by the living at least I can make sure they're not lonely. I need to enter the crypt. Interested in local history, are you? Good, good. The memory of those who came before us should be preserved. I can let you in. There is a small fee of five gold coins for the upkeep of the cemetery. It's constant work, as you can clearly see, and my petitions for additional funds seem to have fallen on deaf ears. Sure. 
bless you, kind stranger. Those old bones are not what they used to be. Here, just take the key. Be careful, though. There's evil dwelling in those crypts. Oh, and I hope I don't need to remind you not to rob any graves. It's terribly rude. And I'd rather not deal with the complaints. <laughs> he hasn't seen our stone shard run. The Adventures of the Swan Knight. We'll be right another day. I do kind of want to do a fighter because we are mainly obviously using melee right now. Right. We're now in oblivion sniper mode. Too fast for that. More. I, I want to get my um, archery skill up. Soul stone, okay, cool. So the way I'm reading that, the soul stone goes off automatically, which is kind of a thing I'd rather not. That's why I'm not using it. I can never get the, the delay on their swing right. Never get that delay right. playing a dwarf so we're just gonna keep uh crouched feral charm increases damage by five percent sure where's my hood gun oh it's a relic okay Missing her with a shield less punishing than it is just blocking without a weapon or with a weapon. Um, I haven't really paid attention, I'll be quite honest. I do have the uh, the Widowmaker here, so we could test that out. Yeah, we got this from uh, Column. We're totally legitimately killing him in a one on one fight. Right, so we'll block this. 
right? So there you go. Yes, shield is better. I, just, I missed that one altogether. But yes, shield is better. Until this waiter is the widow? Yeah, very true. Oh, hello. thing is like we started as a we specced as an archer as is the case with most of these games um archery isn't the best start especially if you're required to aim The uh, slow pace of the combat kind of reminds me of... I haven't played Dark and Darker. But it kind of reminds me of that. Let's go down the weapon models a bit so you can see more of it in your hands. I found the, the weapon models on the enemies insanely large. We were fighting the Red Priest in the prologue and... Uh, I could have sworn he was carrying a long sword, but it was a dagger. But yeah, I'm sure there's going to be tweaks. Is modding going to be a thing? For the longevity of the game, modding would be awesome. God. Yeah, that's I knew it. Blink off the head. I love the clink sound. Cracked stone sword. 37 to 39 damage. <laughs> Let's see what this thing looks like. Um, right then, I need to drop some stuff. I don't have much to drop. I'm, oh, that's a heavy sword. How much was that weighing? 10. Oh. I'm going to have to drop it. What else are we carrying that is weighing so much? Because these are all just barely anything. I guess it's all of this, isn't it? Uh, let's start by weight. Yeah, they don't weigh that much. Uh, right, we'll get rid of that and that. Air pelts, I kind of want to hold on to. What 
as well eat them. Sixteen spoiled meat, so we can drop all sixteen of them. Antler fragment is probably going to be a thing. I just need to cook a ton of this. And then they all weigh basically nothing. One relic. You have the soul stone. Just what we're wearing. We have that. We're still 20 over. How did we get to be 20? Oh, we have to drop that. Let's just drop that. Oh, wait. It weighed 100, not 10. Did I look at that completely wrong? Oh, I did. <clears throat> It's worth 10. It weighs 100. Never mind. Let me just... Uh... No. Anyway. Oh, he's dead. Okay. For now. That symbol on the floor and on the wall there. The person we can talk to there. <laughs> First mod, Lydia, carry your burdens. Why did it have to be you guys? I suppose we're not restricted from wearing heavy armor, I guess. Better than our skill in it. You know, that was not nice. <clears throat> We're gonna go well. <clears throat> Careful there! Try not to step in the array. It's advanced magic. Very fragile. Are you slaughtering? Me? Of course not. This laughter will be at least 300 years old. Why would you even ask that? <clears throat> Not many others practicing necromancy. You live in a ceremony, so you know, it's the well guess. Well, your guess is wrong. I'm not slaughter, although I do take an interest in his work. It's all very fascinating, you know. That man, 
was ahead of his time. So you're like him a necromancer? Necromancy. Ugh. Such a strong word. I do dabble in the dark arts, yes. But hey, turn, Togo. I wouldn't call myself that. Hey, just chilling in the cemetery. So what, what, what would you call yourself? Merely an adept of the darker arts. Slack Darrow was a real necromancer. Fascinating man. Way ahead of his time. Oh, it's so fascinating. <laughs> what isn't? He was the first one to experiment with death magic. It wasn't altogether forbidden. But those before him seemed to fear taking that step. Either because of misplaced morals or superstition. They did not see. Or maybe did not want to see. But death is merely un- not the end, like everyone thinks. What do you mean by that? You see, the dead, especially those who suffered sudden and violent deaths, rarely actually want to leave this world. Nearly everyone has regrets. And those don't go away just because you die. While more willful or vengeful, Individuals can abandon their humanity and continue as wraiths. Most of the others need um, a bit of a nudge. And then they can go on. Of course, uh, at the moment they lack uh, cognition. But uh, it's a work in progress. Doesn't matter, I need to stop you to stop what you're doing. Stop? What, what I am doing here is very important. Besides, <clears throat> I'm hardly hurting anyone. Anyone important, that is. You know they'll send someone else soon. You'll never get a moment of peace. Think about all the time you'll waste fighting them. <laughs> I can face anything they throw at me. My servants are capable enough. I cannot leave this place. I will not leave this place. Keep hitting your own dude. Okay, we have to rush him. Oh, do you know what I forgot? Totally forgot I had a, an ability. Anyway. Necromantic call, summon the skeletons fight by your side. And we got his journal as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not in the mood for reading today. Read that. 
get this and store mana on a hit on an enemy no armor but passive regenerates mp max mana go cool. what if there be a real boss around the corner true but it regens on um kills Also, I have not been coding my weapon in anything. Oh, is the dude at the front door going to be dead now? He still has the fire in his hand. Now it's in his ass. We're done with that. No, he's still there. So that wasn't your master. Oh, you're back. And? How did you like our crypts? I always found them impressive and quite cozy. Uh, um, they're quite populated. Ah, uh, yes. Many important people lie buried there. Or walk about, I guess. I'll admit it's not the best moment for visiting. Usually, it's a lot less lively. Hey, your master's dead. Yes. <laughs> I felt that. He must have been surprised. People like him tend to forget that it can happen to them, too. What'll happen to you now? I guess I'll do what I always do. Clean up, put everyone back to sleep, and then take a little nap myself. Someone will come along again sooner or later. We can't have them seeing such a mess, can we? Wait, what do you mean by you always do? Well, this master wasn't the first one. I'm sure he won't be the last. This place is very popular with their kind for some reason. And they always leave it in such a state. It's not like it would hurt them to pick up a few bones and put them back in place. True. Oh, this is a goodbye. If you want it to be, sure. But I don't mind you dropping by from time to time. We all appreciate the company here. Especially me. Although, I won't be able to have another chat with you for a while. Interesting. Are there guys one second? <laughs> 